Hey guys, Colin here with Grind Season Outdoors. It's been a minute since we posted a video. Um, I think the last one that I posted was from a tournament we did back in June. So it's been a long time coming. Um, and I'll tell you right now, um, there's not gonna be a ton of videos coming up in the near future, but we are working on um, the grind, the, the season that we did last year throughout bow season and uh, late muzzleloader and all the deer season and stuff. We're gonna be doing that again, and we've already got a couple episodes that are all wrapped up, and as long as things keep going good through the deer hunting season, it's gonna be good. Um, so Jared, he's just starting his senior year of college right now, and I actually just started a new job. So both of us have been really busy. We, we've been doing a lot of stuff outside of this, and it's been taking up a lot of our time. So unfortunately, we have not been able to keep the content rolling like we want to but you know we're always trying to balance it and keep things going so to kind of jump into um, you know what we're going to talk about in this video the first thing that I want to talk about is what I spent the last week of my life doing so I had the privilege to go and drive a chase boat for the MLF big five title event in La Crosse Wisconsin this past week and I spent a, a few of my days in that tournament following around Bobby Lane who ended up in second place in that tournament, won $50,000 and I got to go out there and basically watch everything he was doing and see all the spots where he was fishing. So that was a huge learning experience for me and it was awesome. And then also um, I got to follow a couple other guys around and made some really good friends, some locals, a couple of the pros. Um, it was just really 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 cool meeting uh, even some of the staff that work for them uh, experience that I'm definitely not gonna be able to top for a while but <clears throat> moving on from there I wanted to go back and talk about this event that happened in my life um, <laughs> it was something a little bit different than what I've ever posted about and something you know that just doesn't happen all the time but we had a little little bit of a confrontation, um, if you want to call it, out on the river here uh, a couple months ago. I think it was back in May. But basically what happened was we were fishing a tournament, and in this said tournament, the bass were spawning, the largemouth were spawning. Um, so this area where we were fishing, the bass were kind of up in the backs of these pockets, and we found a couple of them on beds pre-fishing and we were catching a lot of them up in there. So we were going into these pockets and fishing them really good. And some of these pockets had docks at the end of them and some of them didn't. Um, you know, we weren't really fishing the docks. We were just, we were catching fish all over on these banks. So we were working them and then where there would be a dock, we'd fish both sides of it. But I really wasn't trying to get up underneath them and obnoxiously fishing the docks by any means. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know that people don't like fishermen. Some people don't like fishermen in general, and especially bass fishermen. A lot of a lot of people just, they don't really see eye to eye with bass fishermen on a lot of things. And a lot of that's because of that 5% of the people that kind of give it, give everyone a bad rap. But, um, you know, all things aside, some people just, they don't, they don't like us. So, we ran into one of those people. We were going into this pocket here and kind of fishing along the side of the dock. And the next thing you know, Spencer and I, we we hear this lawnmower just hauling mail down the hill. And they come down the hill, guy turns the, uh, the mower on and kind of just whips a circle around this tree. So at this point, at first I didn't really know what was going on, but at that point I knew something was going on. Like this guy, he wasn't mowing his lawn. So, he whipped that circle around the tree and kept driving towards us and then he whipped it and started mowing grass right at us, right along the bank. So, you know, at that point I'm just like, what the heck, dude? And I was faced with, faced with two options. It's either, you know, I, I tried doing something back, fighting back, or I just try to be the better man and let it go because, you know, trying to yell at someone or do something to someone that's already that mad for some reason it's just gonna make things worse. So I, I opted to just 
ignore him, keep fishing, start working my way out of there. And I was thinking in my head, you know, it'd be awesome right now. I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, this guy, in my opinion, he's kind of in the wrong or he shouldn't really be doing, doing this. So I was thinking in my head, I want to catch a fish right in front of him. Sure enough, probably a minute after he had come down the hill, I started working my way back out of there and I flip in, get a bite, set the hook. It, it was by no means a giant fish, but I got to catch that fish and it just kind of gave me a good little feeling inside. I know both Spencer and I, we kind of chuckled about it after we left there. But, you know, it was just, it was a crazy situation that you just, you don't hear about people mowing grass at you when you're fishing all the time. So I just kind of wanted to throw it out there and show this to you guys, both as just kind of a cool, like, I, I don't know if you'd call it cool, but just a, an experience that a lot of people don't ever see, or it's just something different. But also, um, it's just showing like, how I feel like you should conduct yourself as a fisherman. You're not out there trying to make enemies or make people mad. So you're gonna have people like this. There's always gonna be people that are just a little bit crazy. And you know, just be a good person. Set a good example for, for the kids and for other people and just try to give fishermen in general a good name. So, you know, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Um, it's a little bit different than what we're usually posting, but we're gonna get back to that stuff now after this. Um, we've got some other stuff that we're working on and we're definitely gonna try to get out there and fish a couple more times this year. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I love the fact that you know, we've gotten all the support. We're almost to a thousand subscribers, so we just want to keep the ball rolling and get there, obviously, and see where things go from there. But I'm really excited. Thank you guys for the support, and we'll see you next time.